Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be doing this, I wouldn't say challenge, but like a book recommendation, but like with a twist sort of thing. I know I recently did seven books that I recommend during isolation or something like that, but this one's a little bit different. I am doing the if you like this, then you'll like this challenge. I've seen quite a few booktubers do it, such as like Book Roast, um, Gabby Reads, The Clockwork Reader, they've all done those, like a variation of that at some point. And I thought it'd be a cool idea to recommend some books that I really like. Most of these are fantasy. I did try to put a bit of contemporary, um, there's a bit of contemporary, a bit of like magical realism, like fantasy, <laughs> just things like that. But yeah, I didn't know what books to do for this because I couldn't really think of when I like this, if I like this, if they even went. Because I just like, I like fantasy, so I'd read a fantasy. I liked contemporary, so I read a contemporary that didn't really have anything in common. So I've tried to group them in with things that they have in common. So hopefully that worked out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll go straight into it now. So uh, the first book is To All The Boys I Loved Before, which is a, one of my favourite contemporary series, or well, one of them. Um, it is so cute, very teen romancey, teen problem sort of thing. And there's also a film on the first two books, two films on the first two books of this series. So there's three books in this series, and I love it. And if you like this and you've read this, I recommend The Anne and the French Kiss and uh, Lola and the Boy Next Door. This is kind of like a series where it interlinks, but they're standalone stories. Anna is a character in this but Lola is now the main character and Lola is a character of this but now Anna's the main character, that sort of thing. These are also like teen romance contemporary novels. And this Anna and the French Kiss is when she goes from America to a university in France and meets a boy. That's just basic teen romance stuff based like the to all the boys I love before. Oh and the boy next door is a, she's a bit of an eccentric teenager with an older boyfriend and the boy she used to like moves next door and it kind of follows that story and if she decides if her older boyfriend is worth the pain, just stuff like that. I really think these two are great contemporary YA reads if you like to, to all the boys I love before because I like both of them and I they really have that teen romance aspect to them. The next one is A Court of Thorns and Roses. <laughs> I can't do a video where I don't mention this series because it is my favourite, <laughs> if you don't know. Um, the second book's my favourite though, I don't really like this one. <laughs> Lol. Well I do, I just don't like the characters. I don't know. I don't know. So A Court of Thorns and Roses is a Beauty and the Beast retelling but it kind of spins off away from the retelling in the rest of the series, just the first book's the most like the Beauty and the Beast story I guess. About Feyre, who is a human who gets dragged into the Fey world above, like where humans are not supposed to go. And it's just following Beauty and the Beast. She's the beauty, Tamlin's the beast, that sort of thing. And I feel like if you liked this sort of Fey, you'll like The Cruel Prince. I know this is a pretty basic comparison, but The Cruel Prince is a way darker Fey story than this. But I feel like the badass woman, human figure for the main character through Jude and Feyre is very similar when they just the way that they talk to Faye and stuff is very very similar and I feel like they kind of resemble each other in a way so when I think about one book I think about the other book sort of thing. This one is kind of like they're living in the Faye world but they're from the human world meeting Jude and her sister and just their struggles in fitting in in the Faye world but it's a really dark version of what I just said. I'm trying to make it sound really pretty but it's not that pretty. But yeah, if I think if you like A Court of Thorns and Roses, you're really gonna enjoy reading The Cruel Prince. This has four books in the series, this has three books, so it's a pretty good series to read now and we're all stuck at home. I also, I'm bringing this book up again, uh, The Cruel Prince, if you like The Cruel Prince, you'll like the Iron Fae series. I read the Iron Fae series a very long time ago, but they have so many similarities of a festering, dark, Fey world with humans and the human world and the Fey world being different, if I can remember <laughs> the Fey series, right? I don't have the Iron Fey books anymore because I read them years ago. I unhauled them and I really wish I had them now so I could reread the series because I loved it. But yes, if you read The Cruel Prince, I recommend the Iron Fey series. I think there's four four books in the Iron Fey series, but I'm not too sure. Okay, so this one is a bit of a not a stretch, but there's completely different genres of writing and stuff. So I think if you love Madeline Miller's books, um, 
the Song of Achilles and Circe, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not too sure, which are both set in the Greek mythology world, so not this time. I guess you could call it historical fiction, historical fiction, but a very fantasy historical fiction. Obviously this one's about Achilles and this one is about the Greek gods a bit more, that sort of thing. And I feel like if you like her writing and these books, I don't even know, but like Rick Rawdon's, R Rawdon's Percy Jackson series and The Trials of Apollo are kind of like a modern tale of the gods. It's like a modern version and writing style of the gods. So if you want to, if you like these books, but you want a more modern retelling, not retelling, but like magical realism in the modern world of these books, I think it'd be really good to read both this and the Percy Jackson series. Personally, I really, really love the Percy Jackson series. Apparently there's been a lot of issues with the author and stuff, but I love Greek mythology and I feel like that these were really, really good books to read. And Apollo is my favorite Greek god, so I also really, really love this series. But that one's a bit of a stretch. It's more if you like this and you want a modern version of this, go to here. If you haven't read these, I really recommend The Song of Achilles. Circe is a bit more detailed and confusing story, but I also really, really liked it. This is the last one. It's also kind of a stretch in a way. Not really sure. If you like Throne of Glass, of course, I had to have to have another Sarah J Mass book in here. But if you like Throne of Glass, which is the same author as the Court of Thorns and Roses series I showed beforehand, this one is about Selena Sardothian. Uh, she's the assassin who has to work for the king that enslaved her and her people sort of thing. She's a very badass, doesn't take shit woman. And she's fighting for her, her power. She's fighting for her world, her life, her people back. So if you like this, I think you'll like Children of Blood and Bone. It is a completely different story, completely different fantasy world. The aspect of the character is a very similar to Selena. Her mother dies, her magic is taken away, her her people are terrorized and stuff like that. So I feel like this is a really good read if you did like Throne of Glass. Completely different stories, but if you want a badass female character, once again, this is a really, really good read. The second book has come out by Tommy Adeyemi. I don't know how to say her name. I've been saying any of the author's names. Anyway, Tommy Adeyemi, her second book, I don't know, I'll put it somewhere, but this has got a second book in the series, which I need to read. Big cliffhanger, and I really recommend. This one has seven books in the series, which I am currently on this. I just finished the sixth book, so I need to read the seventh, but yes, if you like this one, I think you'll like this one. And those are my recommendations for today. I feel like if you like this video, let me know and I'll do another one. But yes, yeah, so that's five, I think I did five recommendations of if you like this, then you'll like this. That was actually way funner than I thought it was gonna be. I did, some of them were very like sparse within what they had in common. But these are all my personal opinions. I think I like this and then I like this sort of thing. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got a couple recommendations of things to read and stuff like that. And yes, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram. I also have a blog where I review books frequently. I'm about to put my Tower of Dawn and Heartstopper Volume 1 and 2 reviews on there soon. So please stay tuned and have a great day.